Hello everyone, E.M. Fresh here. Um, today I am going to uh, be making uh, a beat from uh, start to finish um, on the uh, MPC Live, as you can see here, uh, too. Um, I've been practicing a few days with it. Uh, and uh, let's see what I come up with here. This is completely, completely from scratch. I might uh, skip ahead a little bit or cut. Okay, so what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna start as if I am uh, just uh, turning my MPC Live 2 on. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay, it's loading up. Okay, so uh, if you have it enabled, you'll have this default, uh, I think they call it a menu screen or a dashboard screen. And so what we're going to do is create an empty project. All right, and then we're going to save the project. Okay, and then, uh, like I said before, it looks like you can't do anything right here, but uh, you look down here on the bottom left here, we're going to click... Uh, save okay and then we're going to select the folder we where we want to save the file at so uh, we're going to save it I'm going to save mine in the SD card so I can share it if need be okay under songs and then I have a, uh, a folder called expansion toots 20, 2022 and uh, I just want to put all my songs in. So um, as you can see here, I have a folder called Pad Thai. And uh, as you notice that the name of my folders is Expansion Toots. So what I'm, do, what, I just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a beat using the MPC expansions on Akai Pro. All right, so we're going to name it name the song and I'm just gonna call it uh, Pad Thai 2 okay and that's by Marco Marco Polo I think he's a pretty famous producer all right I think it's the latest expansion that just came out and no don't uh, email me about uh, putting the expansion online you get in trouble for that so what we're gonna do is create a new song from uh, create a new song for uh, from this expansion. Uh, all right. When well, you see, I have a, another folder that I made called Songs 2022. That's where I'm gonna put my finished beat at uh, after I get done making the structure. All right. So I'm gonna hit save after I name it. Save. All right. All right, and hit the X is going to be um the name of the project okay is pad tie three third take sequence okay uh, i'm going to call the sequence all okay because i like uh doing all my tracks uh, no matter if it's they're going to be in the melody or the verse all on the first track and then you create extra sequences um off of that all track you can create a chorus where you take out say the bass drums or the bass you know, or, or vice versa. Um, and so, uh, so now you're going to add a track. The track is there, but we're gonna name it. I'm gonna call this drums. Okay. Okay, so I have drums. Okay. I gotta load some drums in there. Do we have any drums loaded? You click on that. There's nothing loaded in there, none. Okay. So you always wanna check that, this, okay. So another thing, um, you, now what we got to do now is we're going to load the drum. So we got to touch this icon here. It looks like a Windows icon there, like for Windows 11 or <laughs> Windows 10 or whatever. Okay, you're going to go to um, hit um, assign samples, okay? All right. You don't have any samples. Where's our samples? Like we got to load them. So you have to hit browse right there okay we hit browse now we're in the browser okay 
And uh, we're going to load an expansion up, and that expansion is called Pad Thai 2. All right. This is the one you can buy off of Kai. They did not pay me to uh, advertise it, but that's what we're using. Then make sure you're on the Windows icon again, Windows 10 icon. That's what I call it. Or four squares within a square. <laughs> okay, that's another name you can call it icon. Okay, so now I'm going to go down and audition these, and all you do is you take your little uh, encoder here on the side here. You can preview. Okay, I like that. Feel a little down, so I want something a little happier. And they say this, uh, they don't tell you the name of the, uh, the speed of it. Um, but we're just going to click, click it. We're not going to copy it exactly, okay? We're just going to take some of the beats out and chop them up a little bit. Okay, so that was a preview. Okay, so I'm going to just, so to load this, I'm going to, into the project, you just highlight it like that and then just press down on the encoder. Okay, or you can hit the load button right here. Okay, that load right here. All right. Okay, now you're going to go back to sample assign. But before you do that, this I just figured this out. You don't even have to, like, you can manually assign this to a program here, okay? The loops in that pack manually. But if you don't want to do that, all you do is you go, I believe, click this program one up here. Just double tap it. And bam, there it is down at the bottom, okay? This program here is that we just loaded is right here. And it automatically loaded all those beat programs on. You know, that is amazing. It does take me so much time right there. I just figured that out like the last you know, take I did. Because I was trying to load them back in, but they're already loaded for you, okay? All you got to do is just sort of edit them. And uh, that's the purpose of the expansion, okay? Uh, if you heard me rant, I, I cut it out, but I put it in another video about not being able to warp um, things easily in this model um, or without the being connected to the uh, program. You understand why the expansions save you time, okay? And... Um, yeah, so there we go. All right, so uh, let's see what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to make a beat now. Okay, so we're not going to use it exactly, okay, like that demo. But it gives us an idea where we can start at. All right. We just start with the kick. Okay, I'm going to go to um, the grid, okay. To do that, you hit go back to main. But let's, we go up to main, let's name... Uh, actually, we'll just keep it the way it is. We'll keep the name of the kit so we know that's the name of that. That's the Boom Cat Bat Boom Bat Kit in Pad Thai 2, marked by Marco Polo on the Kai Pro. All right, so now we want to record a drum pattern. All right, so what we're gonna do? This is really cool. Hit Shift. Um, first, we're gonna get our tempo right. I guess I have it 85, if we set that before. All right, and shift grid. Okay, it takes us to the grid. And you see how, the, how I hit, as I hit the pads, they move, uh, they highlight on the grid. So you can step sequence. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna sound pretty, pretty sick here. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit Record and then play. My metronome counts in. If this not, if your metronome is not counting in, I'll show you how to set that up here in a second. Okay. All right. So right now it's it was recorded, but now once it hits goes past the two bars, actually let me make that four bars. Okay. This two is not quite enough for me. Okay. All right. All right, so you can see where you are. It looks like a doll kind of in there. I 
like the overdub overdub mode. <laughs> Got salva beat. Okay. Well, I got a little, little bit of uh, moves there. Okay. I don't even think that's on time, but uh, it sounds a little bit off. I think because I didn't put a bass, right, uh, kick drum right here. Let's go ahead and put it there then. Okay. I've been overdubbed, see? Now, if you, keep, if you uh, put a. Uh, you press your pad again on any while it's over another pad, or it's just override it. That's what overdub is. Like me to show you right here. Okay. Well, you see what I mean. It's just okay. Now, if you want to erase a note while in overdub mode, you hit this that eraser icon. Actually, I think you're wrong. You just hit the eraser and just tap it. Just like that. Okay. But we want to go back to the, the select mode or even the in this uh, zoom mode. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's go for the hi hat now. Let me turn the upper door off. What I like about this. Okay, I turned my metronome off, but now I can practice a little bit, I think. Oh, something's off. Okay, something's off. I think my snare is off right here. I'm going to highlight that and move it over. And all you do is you highlight it, and then make sure this nudge uh, little button is pressed. So you can do it like that. Nudge. When you have it highlighted, okay, then you can just move it back. Maybe, I was, maybe it was okay. Okay, that's still, that's sick. It's still off beat, but... Okay, that was wrong. That was messed up. So I'm going to highlight this again. That one, I think that one's off beat. Right here, maybe. And you can also go back to just by just tapping. See, so you don't have to wait for the whole thing to uh, uh -oh. zoom in. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, do that one. Move that uh, last hat there. Oh, that snare, I mean. It's still off. What was wrong with that? Okay. I just gotta like, it's, I have a swing in it. Like, I think I have a swing set. Okay. I'm being too robotic. I gotta loosen up a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna record this by hitting overdub. So you don't even have to, you can just keep adding stuff to it. And uh, the quantize on this machine is, is amazing. Like, you don't have to be on time, it just like knows what you're gonna do. <laughs> okay, take overdub. Okay, that sounds cool. Okay, let's see what we got here. I right, turn overdub off. Make sure you turn overdub off.
Okay. All right. So I like that. I'm going to just add one, uh, one of those. Turn over that boss. Okay. I turn over that, so I'm gonna find another one. Okay. All right. This is holiday time. I'm making this. Let's add a little jingle bells in there. You hear it? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna add it on the on the uh, downbeat. Hit over that. All right, turn over the ball. You're not done yet. You, you lose focus. You'll mess up your masterpiece. But remember, you can always hit undo right here if you mess up. Okay, see what else we got here. Stop that from happening. So what we gotta do? Hit main. It's playing on its own. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay. Hit uh, warp samples. Okay. We're at back at main. Okay. All right. Before we do that, let's save our project. Um, I did. I turned my auto save off. Okay. Because it's annoying. <laughs> but uh, if you have a big project, you've been working for a while, you might want to turn auto save on. Okay. Hit save. And I'll show you how to turn auto save on. Right kind of here. If you want it on. You can see how long it takes to save stuff. Okay, and it's gonna save everything. It's a good thing, not a bad thing, but you know, while you're playing something, it will not wait till you're done. It will just stop it, you know, knock you out of what you're doing and then save it, which I don't like. All right, so, um, to save an audio track, to save your, uh, not save, to turn on the auto save feature or turn it off, what you want to do is you want to hit menu, okay, hit the settings icon here, this little gear, okay, and then it says uh, project defaults, okay, I know I'm in the wrong one, uh, oh, project load save maybe, okay, here we go, it's project load save, okay, this Project load save, not project defaults. Then, like I have mine disabled, but if you wanted to, to auto save like what it did there and throw you off your game, <laughs> it interrupts you while you're, even doesn't matter if you're, you know, recording, I think it will stop your recording and save it. Okay. You don't, I don't like it. So, but if you like it, that hit enabled. Okay. And it will just every 10 minutes. Okay. Actually, it does it whenever you stop. Um, I don't, I don't understand the time out, but uh, I think the every 10 minutes it's supposed to save no matter what. But, I mean, if you're sitting there for a while and uh, it will just save, it doesn't matter if it's two minutes, three minutes, if it senses that you're, you stop playing, say you went to get a drink of water, go to, go, go to the bathroom and pee pee or whatever, it will save the project because it knows that you're stopped, you stopped uh, playing, um, or you stopped making a beat or whatever. All right, so let's go back to main, okay? All right, we have a little beat going there. We saved our beat. Okay, now it's time to add a little bass line and some effects, okay? 
All right, so. Um, okay. I like that, but it's still playing when I'm, I stop playing. I only wanted to, when I press it, I wanted to play, but when I release the pad, I want to stop playing. So how do I do that? Well, you're going to go to warp samples, okay? And uh, you I see the screen here, you'll probably be trying to find it, but it's not there. They made it hard, they don't want it want you to, to find it easily. <laughs> it should be right here where you can just easily add or even on that main page to change it to to this here. So you hit master. Okay, and right here in the middle, with no rhyme or reason to what they're doing. They just they stick it right in the middle of this page here. And all you do is you tap note on. So when you stop playing it only plays when you tap the note. And when you release, it turns it off. Okay, another thing to note, I think there's a bug in this automation button because it's only supposed to, you can record this note on and off, okay, as you're recording, but uh, when I have it off, it will record all your, this note on and off, it's playing the ass, um, so there's a bug in that right there, in this right here, you guys didn't know, Akai, if you're hearing there's a bug in that, it doesn't. Uh, works it doesn't uh, when it's off it's on <laughs> okay all right but there's a way to stop it if, if it happens I'll show you how to stop it from happening okay okay I'm gonna add that space in there Record it from there, but I like looking at it to see where I'm at. Okay, so we're not gonna just make sure nothing is flashing and just hit overdub. Hit play. Okay, so we're done with that. But you still will see how it's a little bit off there. It's not uh, because I started a little later. Okay. But we don't, we're going to take that last little piece out where it's uh, offbeat there. It looks like it's a little offbeat here because it's quantizing to, I think, 16 beats. And uh, it probably needs to be like 32, um, but let's find out here. We're gonna hit, make sure we're, we're in the select button. Okay, and I'm just gonna select that note. I'm on nudge. So I'm gonna just bring it back one. I'm gonna play it to see. Okay, that didn't work. Okay. You can also move your finger. Okay, so we're gonna bring this back. Looks like uh, you can't see it, but it looks like it's going off the screen over here, and the MIDI notes playing, and it stops when it loops. It stops this first note from playing, like it's overlapping. Okay, so one way you can do it is just to shorten it, the end of it, so. To do that, you hit edit in, make sure it's highlighted, okay, by just going like that with your finger, and then you can just press the back button too, or the, or the encoder, and change the length of it. I love that though. There's some good things about IKEA, like, like a lot of, or like not IKEA, Akai, you know, and that's one of them, like I like that.
Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that little piece off at the end. I just, I'll just have it stop. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing over here, but I'm going to remove some from the start. So you hit that, and then I'm just going to make it look like the other one. thing okay it messed, it messed up my uh you would think we'd move it down but i forgot you're dealing with midi here midi notes so let's add it back in there okay all right and this is getting to advanced editing but what we can do is go back to main and then hit um i think it's what sample? You can change the star position, but but we'll wait. And that's the irritating part about this version of a of a Kai. So now I can record what I did into a new track. Okay. Because I just, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. See, this is hard to, you just got to do it so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so um, let's keep it like that for now because I'm going to need that piece there. Okay. I'm going to keep it simple, keep it so I don't, so you guys not get bored of me watching me do this. You know, I like, I think it's, I think it's that one. Can't tell, is this one or that one? Maybe it's. Oh, it's this one. Now that end I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cut that, I like that end part because it sort of matches my, my, my version. Do some editing here. But first, we gotta stop that from playing like that. So you're gonna go to uh, warp samples, master. Turn this off here. Turn that automation stuff off. Hit new it on. If we like. That's what I want right there. That end part. Okay, so then we got to go back to main again, and then edit sample. Okay. Okay. So I got to change the start. Okay. And how you do that is, see how I'm touching this encoder? Or you can use just, I think you can just slide with your finger. So I wanted to start somewhere in the middle there. I think there's a snapping speaker. You use your finger to snap the, or use the encoder to eat more precise. Let's just play. Okay, let me, let me move it a little bit further. Mm.
beat. Okay. So there it is there. I might just move this up a little bit because we don't need all of that. Okay. All right. That's really cool. All right. Okay. So we're going to go back to the main. Or it's the grid. Okay, so we're going to hit overdub and hit play. Same line that that bait that uh, that the uh, bass was hitting on. So I'm headed in, okay, because I want to bring that back, okay. I might have cut a little bit off when I was editing the sample. Um, you can also, I believe, um, use th this to move this uh, encoder here. Like if you ho tap this side of the button, if you didn't know that, if you just tap on the encoders, the Q link functions will appear. It's like touch sensitive, and you can, you know, move it precisely where you need to be. Okay. Let me move it all the way again. There we go. All right. Now we need something to uh, fill that first part in. For the, I'm thinking about if someone was rapping over this or singing over it. That would be a good. This would be a good chorus to play out over the like eight bars or four bars. But I just like that last piece. Let me just go to the sample right now, so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, we'll go to. Uh, I forget how to get to it. Uh, I think it's edit samples. There we go. I don't think that's the right one. We have two. I guess it's the same place, I guess. <laughs> that looks like the same. Uh, oh, I'm confusing everybody. I'm confusing myself. Main. Is it edit? I guess. Hmm. That's weird. Now, that looks like the same thing, but we're going to go to warp samples. I think that's better. I think that's a better process. Actually, I can't see the. Okay, I guess it is edit sample then. So the main, we'll hit edit sample, because we can see it move on the way through. Don't know what the purpose of the warp is, but I, I don't understand the mythology. Okay, same, looks like you have a lot of duplicate functions. Okay. Okay. Alright, so oh first I need to annoyingly go back to warp samples and make that a one shot. Okay. So it's not playing all the way through. Go back to edit samples. Okay. Let me play that again because I can't tell where the middle of that is. I just want to 
do that as an ah, that's all I wanted to do. All the way through. Okay, so we're gonna move the start. We can use that. Uh, I wonder the way they can. Hmm. And program. Let's see if I have a way to automatically select this. Let's see here. Light slices. Looks like crosshair. What is that? Nope, you don't want to do that. Decide. Nope. Oh, okay, cool. But I don't see how you can create the slices, but we're not doing that right now. Maybe I'll figure that out later. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Maybe it is in the other one. I just say I'm about warp samples. Stretch right here. There you go. That's what I want. my frustration <laughs> wow so you can hear my like you would think that they would make it so that you could just easily see a grid or something we just go back to the grid I'll record that just do overdub hit play But that one, uh, that voice, move it down. Just let it play through. And then we'll make that uh, voice longer. Select it. And I'll take that back to there. Let's just add an effect and then um, what I'm going to do is on this particular, that last pad, I'm going to copy it since I'm not. Let's see if there's any effects first. Okay, we're going to put this effect in and then before I put the effect in, let's. I forget which one I did. I didn't ask that. Okay, that's what it is. Because <laughs> I changed it. Okay. All right. I'm getting confusing myself because you make you know, because there's no screen. You know, like in the dog, you can see everything. But but in your mind, you have to keep it track of it in your mind. Okay. Okay. That's one. Of, these are the two I edited. 
but I wanted that first part to play during the chorus. So I need to copy this to this, since I'm not using this pad, I'm gonna copy this pad to this pad so I can get that first part and have a little, you know, a little chorus. All right, um, so how do I do that? I'm going to, um, I think you go to me menu. Did before, I can't remember how I did it. Oh, assign samples. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take that one, select this. Oh, huh. Don't let me do it. Oh, I'm going to clear the pad. You got to clear the pad first. There's nothing there. Hopefully it lets me do it. Okay, select it. Okay, you can't touch it. He's <laughs> gotta do the selection. Then I'm hit, I'm assign the sample. Okay, and I still gotta go back and uh, to the main menu. You see how I copied that. I didn't really copy, I just created another pad. There's a way to copy it over, but I uh, couldn't really figure out how to do that right there. But I will definitely figure that out for next time. Okay, so I go back to main, uh, to warp samples, master, note off. Okay, and so that's going to be my uh, chorus, like my, you'll see what I'm talking about here. All right, and I'm going to go to shift grid. Okay. My brain's getting tired. I'm not used to all this thinking, you know. <laughs> that dog, you can see everything. Okay. All at once. But this is making me tired. I'm making my brain tired. All right, so then I'm going to just take it. Uh, the playhead back there. All right, then I'm going to just record it. I could actually probably even draw it in. Let's do that, make it easier for myself. Uh, all right, play it back. Oop. Oop, what happened there? Oh, my bad. Oh, I was trying to drag it. Ain't that working for me very well? I think I uh, select. You can't do the two at the same time, looks like, when you're touching. Okay, anyway, let's do that. Oh, I'm trying to erase that. It's not going to be erased, is it? Oh, there we go. All right, let me get back to Zoom. Okay, I'm going to select it. Then I'm gonna make it longer. Okay, you'll hear you'll hear the little choir they're singing. Okay. And uh, I'll mute that the uh, the one below it. This one when I have it when I make another sequence. You'll see like I don't want that playing. Uh, when I just need to it sound kind of muddy there. Oh, I just did it again. Undo. This is very sensitive screen. Okay, it's a good thing to be sensitive. Well, I'm going to add that effect. I'm add that one. Okay. I need to go back to main and then warp sample. Okay. Uh, it looks like I turned my auto save on. See how it saved it for you right in the middle of it. Good thing I wasn't recording or anything. All right. I think they might fix that in update, maybe. Okay, so I got a master and then turn the note off. 
I only wanted to play when I and stop when I say so. Then go back to, to shift grid. I guess you get back. And then uh, I'm going to hit record or just overdub. So I know so I don't have to like see what the, um, my fingers, my big fingers. Oh, that's my that's my cue there. <laughs> Okay, and there, there's all my beat. So that's the all um, sequence, okay? So now from there, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna create an intro sequence. I'm gonna create a verse sequence and a chorus sequence, and then an ending sequence, all right? It's gonna be pretty quick to do, and I'll show you. Okay, so I uh, made a little mistake there. Um, okay, so this is how you create, structure your song to, uh, uh, before you actually create your song, you're going to structure your song with the sequences. So, like I said before, um, I have a main sequence called All with, with all my parts in it, as you heard. Okay. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to create more sequences, okay, like one an intro, chorus, verse, and an end. Okay, I'm gonna keep it simple. But before I do that, I'm going to go down to my tracks here and explode the tracks out, okay? Because I wanna be able to take away, like say the bass or the snare or the hi-hats um, when I uh, make my um, sequences, my intro, verse, you know, you don't want say that effect, that little that uh, beeping effect to play during the verse. So, but in order to do that, I've got to be able to um, mute those uh, tracks out. Right now they're on one track, like a MIDI drum track. And uh, in the Akai, you can't do that unless you explode the tracks out. Okay, you can't mute each individual drum sound. So in order to do that, you hit the Edit button, make sure you're on track, not on sequence, okay? Track button, hit, let me just show you before I do that. Okay, right now we only have drum, one track in the drum section. Okay, and the drum, drum's the only sequence, or track in the sequence, okay? So we hit edit, okay? And then we're gonna hit um, explode, okay? And just like that, if I click back on the drums, and I'm just going to just tap on it, you can see every single instrument is a track now, just like in a doll. Except you can't see it. It's like hidden in the, uh, the hidden in the, uh, so now I can mute all these tracks out. Okay, so this is, this should be the first kit, okay. Uh, see how the saving messes you up? Okay, I'm gonna go and um, turn off my saving, the auto save. Okay, so I'm gonna go menu, then settings, uh, load projects already there. Project load save and just uncheck that box. Okay, I'm back in main again. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go down here. And I'm just going to see, actually, there's my, I have no clue what that is. Okay, you just hear, see a light up here. This is the kick, but the track name's kind of big, so I'm just gonna put, change, or rename the, uh, actually, uh, rename the track kick. I think I have two of them in here. I'm just gonna put kick zero one, do it. Okay, so now I know. But that track is uh, just a kick. All right. I'm gonna slide again. I'm gonna go hit this roll, scroll down. And if you don't know what that is, it might not be anything. I think it's the snare. Yep. Keep highlighting. Okay. Then we rename that. Okay. It even tells you that that's the snare, but we don't need the track name that long. 
Okay, snare. I'll just put snare. Oh, man. Snare. Zero, one. Let's do it. And then we know that that's the snare. All right. Next one is a hi hat. All right. I'll go here. You can see. If I go back, nothing. I guess it's playing them all in the same. Oh, I see what it's doing. All right, so hit edit. It's a ride hat, so I'm just gonna name it. I'll just keep it what it is and just delete the rest of it. All right. Oop. Do it. Okay. Okay, go to the next one. That's my open hat. Oop. Hit edit. It says open, ride, open. I'm just going to delete that. Now you can hook a Bluetooth keyboard up to this, and I think I'm, I don't think you can do a mouse, so, so you can type in faster, but <coughs> you don't really do much typing there anyway. Okay. Oh, we got another kick, but I don't think I use it. Don't use that one. I think I think I only use uh, I use this this uh, bell here. Um, let me see if I can see them on the grid and change the names on the grid. I think I can to make sure that I'm not. Wide open. Okay, so now we have a separate track. All you see is just that particular, um, like that's the ride open. Okay, so if I click here, you can add more. Looks like the the uh, kit is still active, and you can add more, but you don't want to do that. You only want to put your uh, the ride open on this. So I got to go up here, and then you can just select through this. You can see. So there's the next one, which is the, I think you can change that right there. Nope, you can't. That'd be nice if you could, then I can see what I'm doing, but I got to go back to main. There's way too many modal menus on this, which makes it confusing. Um, some of the stuff could just be on one page. Um, sleigh bells, so I'm just going to go. Sleigh bells. Okay, and this also, you want to name your stuff. It might be kind of tedious, but you want to name everything because you can, one of the cool features about this Akai is that you can, even in this, you can export Ableton Live set or export the stems of your song. So and if you sell your beats like I do and like a lot of other people do, you can, um, or collaborate with other people, you can send them the stems over email or upload them to Dropbox or whatever, and then they can load in their DAW um, without having the Akai uh, NPC there. Pretty cool. All right. All right, so there's my sleigh bells. Let me just go back to the grid again. See what else is there. I'm just going to highlight that and just... There's my bass. Okay, so back to main. I'm just going to change that to base. And hit that. Oh, what happened there? I think I hit the wrong thing. Oh. My brain's getting tired because I've been <laughs> sitting here forever trying to figure this thing out. Okay. Pretty straightforward in some things, but some, some, things, some things look like they just added after the fact, or, you know. And so, there's my base line. Okay. Hit do it. Okay, I'm going to go back to the grid, I think. Make sure you touch that, and then I'm going to my sleigh bells. 
is my effect. Okay. Let me go back to main and just whatever they name it. They, they call that a synth, but that doesn't really tell me much. I'm just going to go effect zero effect beeper. How about it? Beeper, hit do it. Okay. See, all the other ones I'm not using, as I said before. I think I have two more or three more. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the grid. All right. And then I'm going to uh, make sure that's selected. Okay. I wish I could just change the name right there. <laughs> so dumb, I have to go back to the screen. All right. That looks like we call out a, a, war, a Wurlitzer. I'm just going to call it Keys. Keys zero 01. Actually, that's zero 02 because I have one that's full. I hit do it. Okay, you got the point. So um, I'm going to keep doing this and then you can uh, do it on your own and then just come back to me when you're named all your tracks. All right. Back to grid. Well, I did a hit shift grid or a, better, a faster way. Just see what I'm doing. I think I did it too quick. Just hit that grid and you're back there. I'm going to keep going. And that's just the vocal hit main and then you're going to I'm gonna name it again this is the voices voices oh I took my hoodie away this is one do it and there's one more, I think. And that's the voices full. Like I'm caught voices all. All right. But I'm not in the right one, I know. That. Let me hit main or grid. Let me make sure I'm in the right. Okay, hit main, and name it, voices, I'm just call it voices chorus because that's why I wanted to play it. Right, let's just name it, so you don't have to name it that, I just did that for, okay, voices chorus, okay, let's double check, make sure our stuff is, our, all our pads are named. Main menu, oh, grid, I'm sorry. All right, and then you can just, you can just go down the list here. There's voices one. It's pretty much the same, the same, go back. Oh, what I just do? Oh man, I'm messing myself up. Gosh darn it. Man, I think I messed my, I did there, but then it, I touched the screen, I'm just trying to, <laughs> let me see if I messed myself up, I think I did, uh, program level, I'm getting my own nerve today, okay, I think everything's good to go, I think. I can also go like this to see if I named everything. I got my bells, beeper, voices, chorus. Okay, everything's named. Okay. I think I pressed undo enough. Okay, just make sure you're in the right field when you're touching this stuff because you will 
definitely mess up if you, uh, I'm zoning out, my brain is tired, so <laughs> I'm touching stuff, I don't realize what I touched, and then you make your songs, like, where did that come from, where's that note, where's my note at, you know, and it, you deleted the note by accident when you were creating your, your tracks, okay, track names, okay, so that's the end of this part, and so the next part I'm going to actually create the sequences okay okay now we're going to um, drill down our sequences and um, unmute and unmute tracks mute and unmute tracks to, to uh, create the song structure and then we pre already created it now i'm going to copy it i'm sorry i'm going to copy this main sequence all right, we copied the sequence that all, and I'm going to call it uh, chorus, so just like a song. Do it. Okay, hit do it again. So hit copy again. I'm going to copy chorus to verse. Okay, hit do it and then do it again. Hit copy the sequence verse to let's say verse intro, right? Need an intro. Do it and hit do it again. Okay. While I'm doing this, I'm not gonna use my all sequence in the song at all. That's just my master layer, you know, in case I mess up. I can always go back and duplicate that and then create another. Uh, sequence and each sequ sequence is independent of the other one so if you want to add some fills or something to the sequence uh, like say I can create a chorus fill sequence and add effects and more drum tracks and stuff to it and not affect the other sequences all right um, I think there's an ending or outro right out tro hit do it okay do it all right and then back to the beginning and then i'm going to double click here and there you can see minus these three here but there's my chorus my verse my intro and then my outro okay don't know where those came from but they're annoying and they're my way maybe i have to clear it first clear clear Okay, there we go. It cleared the sequence, okay? I guess when you hit erase, erase, what erase does is it just erases the notes in the sequence, all the events or anything you did in the sequence. Clear actually gets, is the actual delete. You actually deleted the sequence. That's stupid. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going back. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay, all right. Sweet. When this reloads, it will, if they you close your part, open, open it back up, I think it should push the one sequence I created up to the top. Okay, hit delete, clear, clear. And you don't have to necessarily, yeah, you gotta go back out. Three, sequence four, clear, clear. Remember, this is what standalone, this is what you have to do for standalone, so, <laughs> you know, you don't have to lose the uh, capabilities of the computer, and you can do a lot faster with the computer, but, like I say, you don't get the sound or the sound engine. All right, uh, clear, clear, okay, and that's how you delete your sequences, all right, so... I still got my verse, my chorus, verse, intro, outro, and then all. Okay. So now let's create the intro sequence. Okay. Or let's edit the intro sequence. So to do that, you're going to go to uh, menu. Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong thing. Okay. So we're going to go to, uh, start with the chorus. Okay. 
make sure one make sure you're in the right sequence that you want to be in so we're going to create our chorus we'll just go down the line chorus okay we're going to oh it's called i'm sorry it's called track mute okay all right when you create a sequence and you uh hit track mute it saves uh, whatever you're muting in that sequence, it will stay muted. So when you create your song, that track will stay muted, just like a, a doll. But it's you have to sort of pre-visualize it first, and they do a good job of showing you here what you're going to mute on the track. So right now, here's the chorus. drums is muted because you see how the drums is muted that drum track that's the track we exploded so it the Akai you don't want it to hit, uh, be super loud like uh, so it, it muted the drum track because the drum track is actually all these tracks here all the the um, keys right open snare so you want to keep that one muted okay the drums okay so now we're on chorus so we only want to when the chorus plays we only want these tracks to play I want those to play during the chorus. Actually, no, I want this to play. These two to play. And then everything else to play, too. Okay, so there's my chorus. And so, one good thing they did for the workflow here is I don't have to go back to the main screen anymore. Select the chorus, go down to the next sequence. You notice that there are all the tracks came lit back again. Okay, and it's cool because it's still playing. You, know, you don't have to stop it. You can, okay, well, my chorus, I, I want, well, I don't want that chorus to play. Pop artist flowing through this. See like that? I like that. I like that. Okay. All right. Don't want that beeper. No, I don't want that beeper playing. There we go. All right. And I might. I could probably create another verse. Say verse D or A, and then uh, I'll show you. It's better to show you. I'm not going to talk. All right, so there's my verse. That's, what, that's only gonna play when the verse in this uh, place in this song. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next part, and that is the intro. So when the song starts, what's it gonna sound like? So we're gonna cut it in now. You can get really intricate with this. You can create an intro too and then add more snares to it and, you know, give it a cack, you know, and then the verse, the chorus comes in. All right. So that's what we want to play. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go to, actually, on the intro, let's go back because I want... I want my snare to play, but I don't want it to play all the way. I only want to play on that last. So what I might want to do is create another intro sequence. I'm going to copy this one. Go to the main. I wish I could copy it right there, but you can't. So, But I want intro. I'm going to go to edit, sequence, copy. I'm going to call it intro 02. Okay, do it, do it, okay, and then I'm going back to the, uh, okay, I don't want that playing when the intro comes, that snare like that, but, so I'm going to go to grid, right, let me see my snare, where did my snare go? Uh, 
Okay, so hold on. We gotta go. I'm on sleigh bells right now, but I want my to be on the snare, so I'm gonna go down to the snare. See why it's important to name your. Uh... There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to grid. Okay, I'm gonna delete all of these here. Oop. You gotta select them first. And then, oh, actually, you can't delete it. You have, just have to. Uh, let me see here. Just got to hit erase. Okay. Let's see how that sounds. Okay. Nope. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to add like four of them, like right there. <laughs> I think I'm adding a note here. Let's see. Okay, I sound dumb. <laughs> I'm going to add more, uh, more, um, let me undo that. I'm going to add more, um, uh, I'm going to change my key signature here to 30. Two. Okay, because I want to. Uh, oh, where did it go? Where am I on? Oh, there we go. Because I want it to sound like trap, kind of. I think you can probably use note repeat too when you're doing this, but I'm just going to draw it in. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay. All right. So we got the point. Okay. Then we're going to go back to the menu and then we hit track mute. Okay. So we're going to enter two. on intro I don't want any snares to play so I'm gonna go back to the grid shift grid okay I think I'm on intro one let me make sure because it's not telling me so I'm on intro make sure on the right sequence don't delete the wrong thing and then go back to the grid make sure on snare okay snare okay you're not on the doll so you got to make sure you're on the right uh, thing you can't see everything on the, at the same time uh, where'd it go? Oh. Undo that. Nope. Go down. Okay, and there are all my snares. I'm going to squeeze in there, zoom in. Okay, and I'm just going to erase all my snares. All right. Now I'm going to go back to menu and then track mute. Okay, and you'll hear no. One thing I could have done too was just mute the snare on that particular. I just mute it and not have to worry about it. You'll see what I'm talking about. And if I wanted to, just the. Uh, okay, so then I go to intro. I think we got everything except for, let me make sure we got the chorus, I think. 
we need the chorus. Okay. okay, we need our outro now. Outro, I don't want anything playing. So that's good enough. What was that? I think it was the open hat. We don't want the open hat on there. Yeah. Just fade out right there. It's not easy to put a fade in this, so when you create a fade, that's another whole different ball game. Okay, so anyway, there's our outro. Okay, so that's how you create, we create all the sequence, now it's time to actually make the song. Okay, and to do that, we're gonna hit, go to menu, and then song. I guess we got to, oh, we got to name our song first. Name the song, we're gonna name it, Pad, Three. Do it. Okay. And then we select, just touch the pad you want to add first, which is ours is intro. Okay, intro, and then you hit insert. Okay. Actually, I don't know why I did that, but it's easy to change. It says outro, but we want, what you do is you touch the letters and then you just use your scroll wheel to change the, uh, oh, but, um, change the, uh, the uh, sequence you want to play first. And then you want to put how many times you want to repeat. We only want to repeat one time, so we just have one. Okay, one here, but you can select it and change it to two if you wanted to. All right, and then we're just going to hit insert again. All right. Hit insert, and now you're going to put, uh, so we want intro two, right? So you just find your intro two, or you can just double click on it, because you might have a lot of, well, it didn't let me do it that time. Or you can do intro two, well, that didn't work either. Intro two, where's my intro two? Uh, intro two is gone. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, a little interruption there. <laughs> okay, so now our intro two. And I believe we can play this back while we're doing this. Just to see how things are going. goes down to the next line there. So we're structuring our song. Draw it. Okay. So now we want to add another one. So we're going to just hit insert. And actually we can just go ahead and hit a few inserts in there. Doesn't matter which what it's flashing on, but the reason why it's flashing is that's tell you what one you were on last. So all right, so we have an intro, but now we just want to go into our chorus. Whatever that may be, chorus. I'm just turning a knob, and it's, if you, can, you can't really see it on the screen there, but it's changing the, uh, um, the uh, uh, once it's not high lab, you'll see the, that that's on chorus. You can't see it on your screen. I'm on it. All right, so my chorus, I want to repeat twice. And you just put, select that number one and hit two. Okay, it's off. So you can see the two, how I, once I was on it, it was only one before. All right, now I'm gonna go in my verse, select my verse, where's my verse set? Okay, I'm gonna have it repeat four times. All right, 
so it's 16 bars or all right and then I'm gonna go back to chorus and do that twice all right chorus twice hit insert and then I'm gonna hit verse four times all right it's almost remind me of Cubase work on this you know, back in the days, that's how you do it with numbers. <laughs> There's no uh, arranger track or whatever, Studio One or Logic. Okay, insert. All right, and then um, that's the last one. Oh, let me see. Verse, I got two verses. Okay, I need one more chorus. And then I'm going to do my outro. Oh, I got two choruses, right? Two, one chorus. Set. I need two verses. And then... Uh, my chorus, the chorus, there's a chorus there, chorus will be two, All right, and then hit insert again, and then we're going to do our outro, outro, okay, and the outro is just going to be one bar, okay, let's see how that outro sounds. <laughs> Okay, and that was the last part, the last uh, verse. So you can actually go back to the beginning here, and then just hit play, and it'll play your entire song so you can rehearse. Okay, say your uh, rap or whatever, practice it, or sing. Yo, yo, I'm rapping like this. I'm talking over the verse. That's what's happening. Yeah, I haven't rapped in so long, but I'm coming strong. Uh, you feel it, Marco Polo, aka Akai Professional. Uh, <laughs> <he's joking. laughs> okay. but anyway, you get the point. All right, so it's going through all the, uh, the settings there, or all the on its own. Okay. Breakdown, just like a doll, but it's just more linear. This goes from top to bottom, you know, kind of like a tracker without the movement. Okay, repeat that four times. It's like 16 bars or whatever. Okay, and a chorus should come back in there. Got the point there and that's basically how you create a song so you have your song now all you need to do is export it okay and to export it you just hit export down at the bottom okay and there's two ways to export you can export the whole uh, song and you can put an audio tail on it um, um, I think it might fade it for you just create like a hold the last note with a reverb or whatever mm -hmm. okay um so i'm gonna leave it as is okay it shows you the start bar the end bar 68 bars i keep my sample rate at 44 okay what, what happened there hit export okay I'm just, first i'm gonna do the song okay you can do this stereo output and it's gonna be just a regular beat just play it out like you can upload to itunes or whatever all right or soundcloud or YouTube, whatever you use. 
and then this separate programs is means it's going to export all the tracks separately so you can um, mix them separate like in a DAW or or uh, maybe you want to sell your beats you know to someone else like on beat stars or something like that you can uh, do it that way you have separate stems and charge more money all right so now I'm gonna I'm gonna do the stereo output first to export Okay, you can change the sound rate, but I keep it at 44. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure, um, I just, this is how I do it. I just have another song folder separate from the project folder. Okay, and then there's my pad tie, but I'm going to create another folder inside of this because, for the stem, so um, pad tie three okay all right disregard that other uh, pad tie that's for another project that was worth it. trying to mutter must uh trying to get through all right so but you create a folder and then hit save i'm going to save the song only okay that's the regular song so i export the song it's pretty quick you know for a standalone machine it's not the not my uh, 128 core uh, PC or my Mac Pro, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it's exporting. Okay. All right, so it takes you back to the beginning. Let me hit export again. And then um, I'm going to... You can even, uh, I'm going to actually hit separate programs, and then uh, I'm going to hit, hey, you can save MP3, FLAC, AUG, or whatever. These are your stems now. I forgot to tell you, you can also save it Ables and Live Set. If you click back on, I can't remember how to do that. I think, oh, I, I know how to do it. Okay. I, there's another way to do it, okay? For the stems, you gotta go back to the, or for the Able and Live set, you gotta go back to the main menu. Okay, so um, we're gonna extort the, the stems, so steer, separate programs, wave, I'm gonna hit export. Okay, I'm gonna make sure, there's my master song right there, I just saved a second ago, all right? But now we're gonna save the stems. Okay, so I'm just going to create, oops, excuse me, <laughs> yeah, drink so much. Drink too much uh, Jack Daniels. All right, and then uh, stems. Okay. Then let me take do it, hit do it. Okay, I really want to put stems there because if you do pad tie three, you'll overwrite your main song so you put stems and then it will i'll show you here i'm not going to just talk i'm going to show you hit save okay so it's going to export the song and then all the stems with it or just the stems actually this takes a little longer because you're going to export all the tracks um like the bass the effects the key keys the little choir that i play in the voices um, so, uh, I'm going to let the video play out and then, but I'm just going to fast forward through this so you have to watch this. Okay. Actually, that was actually pretty quick. Okay. So now we're going to save our projects. Let's go back to the main. Okay. And just save our project Then hit, just hit the little folder icon here. Then hit save. Okay, to save a project. You have auto save it. It'll probably save it a hundred times by now. <laughs> okay, it saved it. Hit X. Okay, and there's another way you can export too. You can export by hitting the folder icon again. And then you can export an Ableton Live set. Okay. 
Okay, so it will export all those tracks and you can load them Ableton Live and then use your push control or whatever you use and, and uh, create the song in there and mix it a lot easier than this. <laughs> okay, but uh, you can export this audio and export it the MIDI too. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do that. I just want to show you that. And then you can also export the song again from here in this menu as well. So there's multiple ways to save and export. All right. And that is it. And that is all. So this is how you create a song. Um, I'm going to do a demo songs for all the expansion. Not all the kits in there because that'll take me forever. And you guys can do that too. You guys can make your beats as well. And so that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next expansion demo. Um, how to make a beat with Akai NBC Live 2 and all the expansions. All right. Talk to you later.